Following England's Test Series draw with the West Indies, Gillette World Sport gets underway with cricket and a lesson in how to score runs with Kevin Peterson. The simple philosophy of batting is score as many runs as you can, but I also want to entertain doing it, and that lends to just my personality, just my persona. Whatever persona you're born with, I think that's the way that you're going to play. I don't look orthodox. I don't look like a great batter, and sometimes when I turn on the TV and I see highlights of some of the, the innings that I've played, and goodness, I, I don't know how I've scored runs sometimes batting the way that I do. But actually my technique, if you break my technique down into the positions my hands are, the positions my shoulders are, the position that I get into with my head, I mean they're pretty solid positions. The most important thing to do is get your head to the ball. A lot of coaches say you've got to get your foot to the ball, well I counter that and say no. If your foot goes and your head's nowhere, you're not going to be able to reach the ball. You're going to hit the ball up, you're going to nick the ball, you're not going to be in control of a shot. Whereas if your head goes to the ball, your, your hands and your eyes and your feet will go to the ball, which means your weight goes to the ball and then you can play where you want to play the ball. So you can hit the ball through cover, you can hit the ball through mid-wicket. These are the kinds of things that are simple techniques that have scored me all my runs. When I come to train, I want to get something out of training and I won't stop until I've got that out of training. I've always gone to bed knowing, right, tomorrow, what will be will be. And that's why it looks like I've got a pretty carefree attitude when I go and play. Cricket is a confidence game. When you're playing well, you never question your technique. It's so simple, you're just watching the ball. You're just hitting the ball. When you're out of form, when you're really struggling to get to 10 runs, I mean, that's when you just go, where's this ball going? Oh, I can't trust my defense. Oh, I've just missed that one. Geez, that's a good ball. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that is real imagination, skill, talent, amazing. The sign of an informed Peterson is his trademark switch hit, a shot of sheer flamboyance that stunned players, fans, and rule makers when he first played it on the international stage. It came from me looking for scoring options. I was just messing about and just turned around and started slogging a ball left-handed. I actually started hitting every single one, and I was like, hold on. This is, this is actually a shot that I can really, really use to my advantage. Shane Warne bowled a spell of bowling at Adelaide where he just bowled for a session around the wicket to me and I just kept patting him up, patting him up, patting him up. And I thought to myself at the MC, I thought, if I was playing the switch head really well here, I could have destroyed him that day. He had everybody on the leg side, so basically the whole field on the off side was open for me. And if I had the confidence to turn around and whack him that way, he wouldn't have known where to bowl because I'd beaten him from over the wicket. I decided to play it against Sri Lanka at about 60 or 70. I made sure I was in for the next game and then, and then had a wild swing at Murilithran and oh goodness, it was just lucky it landed in the right area and ended up in the top terraces, which was quite fun. What about that for improvisation? The switch hit is a highly technical shot which requires perfect timing and execution, as demonstrated by the master himself. So if the bowl is coming around the wicket, uh, as a, a leg spinner or over the wicket as a left arm spinner. They've gone a backward point, cover, and a mid-off because he's thinking if he's bowling into a rough out there, it's really hard for me to go around the rough, hit through the offside. Occasionally you can play that shot, but it's hell of a risky. It opens up your stumps. The way to score on the offside for me is to change into a left-hander. I played a lot of cricket right-handed and left-handed as a kid growing up in, with my brothers. If we got out first ball, um, batting our normal way, say right well you can't get out first ball but you've got to bat for six balls left handed. So I spent a lot of time batting left handed getting out first ball my brother kept knocking me over. I started off standing and just having somebody bowl me balls and just hitting so this felt comfortable. But right now I've got to do this and put this into practice. I'll have my hands incredibly loose on, on, the, on the grip because I've got to change my hands. So on load up, as the ball is loading up, I'll switch my hands and then it's just one motion to get into a left-handed striking position. And then all I do is I drop, drop my back leg and I hit it. And if I get it real well, it'll go for six. And then the bowler and the captain go, well, pff, what the hell do we do now? Switch of hands and off it goes. I've nailed every one there. We're not going to get better than that. The game has changed so much. Surely it can't change anymore. I mean, what are you going to get? You're going to get a guy standing as a left-hander, or he's going to bat right-handed and left-handed. I have thought about that on real spinning wickets, to bat as a left-hander and just hit him through the leg side. When he changes the field around, you flip around to a right-hander and you whack him. 
it's all part of fun. I want to finish my career and, and, and look back and go, I tried everything, I had a hell of a lot of fun with it.